Okay, everybody, welcome to ResinNet. Today, we're going to be doing this cute little snail shelf. And so I decided I'm going to get started with this and I'm going to um, just go ahead and pour just a bit of resin, just clear resin into kind of mainly down here, down through the bottom half of him. And kind of through the little gaps here so it can start evening evening out evening out okay i'm going to kind of just tilt it so that the so that this little bit of resin is just kind of coating everything i'm going to spray some alcohol in between these Hopefully it ward off some bubbles if we get any. Okay. All that resin down in there for right now. Okay. All right. So now what I want to do is I actually would like to have something to kind of prop this up on. And I think I'm going to use these molds. Okay, <laughs> just something I had handy here. And I just kind of want this bottom part of my shell to be kind of um, facing down. Not for very long because see how it's all bunched up? I don't want it to cure that way. But I want it to stay down here so that I can get my sand and stuff that I want to do down here along the bottom. So I'm going to just take a spoon. I think just this little size of a spoon. I'm going to take some of my sand, my craft sand, and I'm going to just start kind of pouring it in, scooping it in to these bottom parts. I want to see if I've got, this is going to be kind of my widest spot right here. I want to see if I can find a starfish. It's a really small starfish that would fit in this little crevice here be very big beezers nope oh, that's too big here's a little smaller one that one might not be too bad he might have to be at a bit of an angle here i'm gonna put him he fits pretty good down in there he's he's not at too much of an angle okay Just gonna do the one, just the one starfish. And he might be partially covered with some of the sand. Take this off. The sand as it sinks, as the sand sinks down, it shouldn't be moving around anymore. I'm going to come up here to this first little shelf. Okay, now I'm going to kind of like let this kind of drain back down. Now that I've got my sand in this little area there. Now, Hey, that's kind of going down, and that's all the sand I want to use. Okay, now I'm going to do pour some more resin in here to kind of try to keep the sand and everything down in the area I want it to stay down there. I'm just going to put a little bit in here and kind of start draining down that way. Same with up here. Okay. 
Okay. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of my, uh, just my sea glass here that I've got. Got this on clearance at, it's called at home and it's kind of like a home goods store. Okay. It's a great store. And every once in a while you can find some fun stuff there on clearance and things. And I'm also going to use some more of my crushed shell. Okay. And so I think what I want to do is I'm going to just kind of pour a few of these out. Some of these are going to be way too big for some big rocks size in here. Those are obviously too thick. I set them aside. I'm going to try to work with my thinner pieces. Okay. And I'm going to start placing these just kind of down here in the, in the resin. And let's see what I do with those tweezers. And I'm just going to start placing them down in here. Piece here might be a bit big. Maybe, oh, well, actually, it goes down inside here, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and put some more resin in. Okay, so now I've got just a bit here, um, kind of around the bottom. I'm going to just kind of spread this around. Doesn't have to be very thick. Just a bit to sprinkle some sand on the top so that it can cure. That's about right. And I'm just going to use my spoon and just kind of lightly sprinkle some of this dark same craft sand that we had down below. Try to keep it mainly up here. And I don't want it too thick because I don't want it to, I don't want the top of it to not be cured. So I don't want it to go floating all around. So what I might do is after this is cured, I'll probably tip it upside down and kind of bump it to get the excess sand off of there before I put on my next coat. Okay, that's about all I'm going to do for this part. Okay, so I'm going to give it a quick spray of alcohol. And I'm going to let this part cure. And then um, we will be back to do the next step. And yeah, I'm excited to see how this is going to look. Might go ahead and clean off some of this. All right, you guys, that's all we're going to do for now. And when this is cured, we'll be, I'll be back. All right. I'll see you in a while. Oops. I didn't even know that light was in the way. Sorry about that.
Okay, everybody, welcome back. Our snail is all completely cured, and I'm ready to do the next step of this. I'm super excited to see how this is going to turn out all the way. I've made up about eight ounces of resin here, and I'm going to add some uh, some pig pigment color. I'm going to do ocean in this Pixis alcohol ink. It's one of my favorite, um, you know, ocean colors. And I want it really kind of faint, so I'm not going to add too much to this 8 ounces. Okay, this is a really pretty color, but I don't feel like it's quite dark enough. Um, since it's going to be kind of a shallow layer, I don't want it to lose its color. So I'm going to add just a little bit more in here, just to kind of give it a little bit more of, you know, a little bit more of a strength of a color. Okay, this is much more what I have in mind. It's kind of, you know, still very translucent, but a really pretty ocean color. It's got a few micro bubbles in there, and I don't really care. Um, what we're going to do now is I am going to use just a little bit of cast and craft. So I want this just to be super faint, okay? So I'm going to put a, I'm sorry, my daughter is a little loud in the background. I'm putting just a little bit of cast and craft in here, and I like to use this over any kind of an ink or just regular pigment because it's a bit heavier, okay? So it tends to just kind of swirl into your resin a little bit better, and I love that oceany kind of a, a tra translucent but almost like a marble effect. Um, so yeah, we're not going to stir it up really great. We're just going to kind of give it a quick blend. You can see just how pretty and almost kind of an oceany look that this has to it. Do you see how it kind of looks like there's like that white foam at the top of the water, like when you're out at sea? So I'm going to pour just kind of slowly here. Um, I don't want the colors really to blend too much. I probably could have waited for this to get a little bit thicker before I added the cast and craft, but um, I'm actually leaving for the weekend. So I um, kind of got this going maybe a little sooner than I would normally, but gosh, experiment with this, you guys. If if you're interested in this type of a technique, it's so much fun. Okay, so I did notice that some of my white did kind of get lost in my ocean colored water. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and add a little bit of white um, and see if I can kind of get that to kind of come back in. I'm going to put just a little bit on the end of this coffee stir stick because I really don't want a whole lot in there. I want to just, just a little bit. And now I can kind of concentrate on the areas that, um, that that white kind of got lost. And so this, um, resin, the, the aqua colored resin is starting to thicken up just a little bit. So I'm able to kind of make more of the design of the white kind of stay a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish pouring this um, with just that little tiny bit of white kind of swirled back into this cup here and um, just kind of finish this off kind of a finishing touch. Okay. 
Okay, so I've got just a little bit of my blue left here. Um, the snail is done, and I think I'm going to take my little bit of leftovers here and add it to, I think I'm going to add it to my, um, let me see here, hang on just a minute. I'm going to add it to my puffy heart mold and make some pendants with this little bit of oceany water. And I'm getting ready to go on a cruise here in a couple months. So I think that's why I've been kind of in ocean mode. But I think this is going to be really pretty in these hearts. I love how these, um, this mold fills up. I have not had to sand or do a, a top coat on the backing of these yet. They are just really wonderful molds. Love them. Okay, I'm going to take a starfish here and I think I'm going to add it two maybe just two of these molds and or two of the hearts I mean and um, they're not going to be completely translucent um, from either side from the front or the back but there should be a hint of a starfish in there and yeah just kind of a little added something I think this is fun okay I'm gonna place the second one kind of about the same depth as I did the first one and then um, I'm going to just kind of check on these every once in a while kind of poke them back down I'm not too worried about where they end up I think it's going to be just kind of more natural wherever they end up as long as they don't float completely up to the top here can help kind of swirl a bit of this uh, white around a little bit too kind of give it a little bit more of a realistic look. Um, top, I'm going to top these off with my little bit of leftover blue here. Cover the backs of the starfish, kind of help weight them down a little bit. And um, gosh, you guys, we're going to be ready to demold these before we know it. And I will see you back here, um, gosh, maybe just a few hours, maybe tomorrow morning, not sure yet. Okay, but I will see you in a little bit. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to ResinNet. I'm hoping that my microphone is working better now. It has not been working real great here lately. I think I broke it when I was trying to do something with it. So anyway, our snail here, though, is completely cured. And um, I've missed everybody. I've been gone a couple days. Um, my mother passed away last year. And we went away to celebrate what would have been her 95th birthday. So, um, yeah, we were blessed to be able to spend last birthday with her when she turned 94 and she just didn't make it. So, um, to see this birthday, but anyway, we had a great time away. I wasn't able to post any videos while I was gone and I had to leave my cute little snail here to cure this whole time, but excited to get this out of here. I've been thinking about it and Hopefully it will turn out really cute. Now we did take some of our little uh, kind of an oceany um, leftover resin that we had and I did make some puffy hearts out of Julie's um, from pouring your heart out from her puffy heart mold. I just love that and yeah, super excited to use that on all kinds of stuff. Let me see if I can get this out of here. Oh, I've got some sharp pieces here. Since it did sit for a few days, they are not soft. And I'm still having trouble with my deburr my deburring tool. Um, yeah, still having trouble with that because it is, um, it, I can't get it to stop swiveling. I've taken the blade out. I've put it in all the way. I've tried to screw it tight, tried to loosen it, whatever. It just spins around and around in circles. And I can't imagine that it's supposed to stay like that. But let's see, I'm going to have to get this out kind of carefully. We've got these um, 
layers in between that have the shelves. Come out of there. I haven't made one of these yet, so I'm excited to see what the front will look like. This mold came from Amazon, and there will be a link to the um, to purchase this if anybody wants it. And yeah, okay, I'm almost there. This little part right here is a bit stubborn. Noticed. I just gotta break that seal in there. There we go. Got it out. Yay! Our mold, great. Just bounced right back normal and here's our little snail looking pretty good all right should we turn it over and see how this turned out here it goes oh my gosh how cute is this oh my gosh this turned out even cuter than what i thought what do you guys think how cute is that and get up a little bit closer and I'll have to I'll have to bring the um, camera down off the stand so that you can maybe get a little bit of a better look and then so these little shelves aren't too big but I thought that they might be a great size for um, let's see what was I looking at for this oh I was thinking about my some of my um, Sig Wong oh no there's a little too big okay so let's see how can I do that I could even put them in this way so I could see my colors. They're a little, they're a little bit, I think they're a little bit um, too tall to stand up. They are here, so, but I could lay them in this way. And let's see, or here, these are all Sig Wong. Here are some Let's Resin size. Do the same with that. Turn them sideways in there. Uh, maybe some of the colors, you know, that you would use the most. You kind of stick them all in there together like that. But, oh my gosh, how cute is this? You do all kinds of things with this. If you have little jars, little, um, like this, here are some of my Let's Resin um, chameleon powders. Okay? So, those might work in this. Or this would actually be really cute in a bathroom with something like that in there. But oh, look at this. The Let's Resin, the, the little Let's Resin jars fit just right. Now here's some of my glitter and craft um, for you, my, my Super Chameleon powders. Wow, this works out well too. Oh my gosh, you guys, how fun. How fun is that? I can just line those all up and then I won't have them all kind of in a pile where I've got to dig through it. I can just kind of put them here, put some here and up here and kind of um, stack them up. But, uh, oh my gosh, I'm super happy with this. Really, really, really cute. What do you guys think, huh? I'd like to know, let me know in the comments what you think of this snail, little snail shelf. And, um, I did already take this mold of my um, puffy heart mold here and I demolded these before I turned on the video and I just to be honest I was so excited to see them I just forgot to record it okay so I did take them out and I used my leftover oceany marble color and we put um, we took two that were plain kind of translucent with like the blue and the little bit of a white swirled in. We got a really fun little kind of an oceany water effect with this. Get that out of the way. See there? Turned out really nice. Really loving this mold. Okay, here's another one like that. Got some translucent parts and some that are a little bit thicker with the blue and the white. And then we did two with just part of a starfish kind of showing up through there. Can you see that? So it looks like the starfish is kind of partway in a little bit of a cloudier water and then a little bit coming through the clear parts here. I really love that. I'm anxious to know what you all thought about this. 
Um, I was looking for my measuring tape. I don't have it right handy, which means I've probably uh, walked off with it over by my curing rack or something. But anyway, the measurements are in the description uh, with the link. And yeah, this was super fun to make. Let me know what you think. Okay. And I will see you guys all next time. Thank you for joining me. Thank you.